In today's world, consumed by chaos and self-centered pursuits, the teachings of Alan Watts offer a profound antidote, the concept of ego death. Watts, a renowned British writer, speaker, and interpreter of Eastern philosophy, believed embracing ego death could pave the way for a more harmonious and interconnected world. Let's delve into Watts' perspective on ego death and explore how it holds the potential to rescue humanity from its self-destructive path. Alan Watts, deeply influenced by Eastern philosophies, notably Zen Buddhism and Taoism, introduced the idea of ego death as a transformative process. Watts argued that our relentless attachment to the ego creates a divisive and competitive society. As individuals strive to assert dominance, conflicts arise, and the world becomes a battlefield of egos vying for supremacy. According to Watts, ego is the root cause of many societal issues, from environmental degradation to geopolitical tensions. Ego death as liberation. Ego death, as Watts envisioned it, is not a physical demise, but a psychological and spiritual rebirth. It involves transcending the limitations of the individual self and recognizing the interconnectedness of all living beings. In this state, one sheds the illusion of separateness and embraces a profound sense of unity with the cosmos. What's like an ego death to a liberation from the shackles of self-centered existence? Instead of perceiving the world through the narrow lens of personal desires and fears, individuals experiencing ego death become attuned to the more significant existence. This shift in perspective, Watts believed, has the power to dissolve the boundaries that fuel conflicts and disharmony. Healing the planet through ego death At the heart of Watts' philosophy is the idea that healing the world begins with healing ourselves. Ego death, he argued, holds the key to addressing pressing global issues, including environmental degradation. The relentless pursuit of material gain and power, driven by the ego, has led to the exploitation of natural resources and the planet's degradation. What's proposed that individuals can cultivate a deep reverence for nature by undergoing ego death? This shift in consciousness encourages responsible and sustainable practices, fostering a sense of environmental stewardship. In essence, the planet's healing becomes an extension of the individual's internal transformation, fostering compassion and unity. In a world marred by divisions, be they racial, cultural, or economic, Watts believed that ego death could act as a catalyst for compassion and unity. When the ego dissolves, the barriers that separate one individual from another crumble, giving rise to a profound sense of empathy. Watts envisioned a society in which individuals, free from the constraints of ego, would work collaboratively towards the greater good. Compassion becomes the driving force, and altruism replaces self-interest. In this utopian vision, the world moves away from the brink of destruction and towards a harmonious coexistence. Criticisms and Challenges While Watts' vision of ego death as a savior for the world is compelling, it is not without its critics. Skeptics argue that the concept is too idealistic, dismissing it as an impractical and utopian notion. Implementing such a profound shift in collective consciousness, they contend, is a monumental challenge given the deeply ingrained individualistic tendencies of human nature. Furthermore, some critics question the feasibility of ego death in a world driven by consumerism and external validation. They argue that the societal structures perpetuating egocentric behavior are deeply entrenched and resistant to change. In a world grappling with existential threats and the consequences of unchecked ego-driven pursuits, Alan Watts' vision of ego death emerges as a beacon of hope. While the concept may face criticism and skepticism, its potential to transform individuals and, by extension, society cannot be easily dismissed. In embracing ego death, humanity may chart a course toward a more sustainable, compassionate, and interconnected future. Watts teachings remind us that the world's salvation lies not in external solutions, but in a profound internal transformation. This transformation begins with the ego's death and the collective consciousness's rebirth. <laughs>